So welcome to another kind of fragrance talk today with Stephen. Um, I'm going to be kind of doing a something different as opposed to a review or first impressions. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to get... Ugh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm going to just be kind of talking about body washes and my experience and what I think of them. Anyway, that guitar introduction was because I'm here to announce the winner of my giveaway. I recently done a, vi a video of some vintage bottles I purchased and I kind of announced that... It was a competition going on and people could enter to see who would win. Um, I don't know who the winner is yet. I've kind of written a bit of code to basically choose something at random. So what I'll do for you now is actually run this code. So we can see live now who's going to be the winner. Um, yeah, so it's ready to go. Here's my little script and the winner is... It's Fragrance Newbie! Well, hey! So, fellow Welsh reviewer, um, shit, what's his name? Craig, I think, yeah, Craig. Um, I'll give you a message and I'll send them to you in the post, you know, it shouldn't cost me too much shipping, and that's pretty cool, so, woohoo, I don't know, celebrity riff maybe. You won! Yeah. <laughs> so, cool. So the topic of today's discussion is basically um, body washes, you know, um, I've got some various body washes here, you know, ma mainly sort of high street brands, you know, nothing spectacular. And I also have here Versace's Paul Homme in the body wash edition, and I just want to kind of have a quick chit chat about it, you know, see what's going down, because <laughs> what's the point of these things personally? I mean, from what I've experienced, they just don't scent your skin, I mean, you know, <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna sound silly, but I jumped in the shower, you know, I got one of those fluffy ball things you can wash yourself wash yourself with. I, you know, screw some of this on, lather up, wash it off, jump out, wash myself dry myself with a towel, and that's that. And like straight away if I smell my arm, I can't smell anything. And it just makes me think, what's the point of these being scented? I mean these men you know I know they kinda of use them to get clean, obviously, but they are scented. This reminds me of bubble bath. It's got a bit of woodsy feel to it, and uh, my hands covered now. Bugger. Um, there's this orange one that's kind of supposed to have this uh, taurine in there to kind of wake your skin up or some bullshit. It's got an orange citrusy smell. But yeah, you know, you can smell them once you're actually showering yourself and lathering them up and on your skin, but then afterwards they are not there. Um, I have this Versace one, which came as part of a gift set that I bought in the Versace Poham. I think it was a pound extra as opposed to the standard one, so I thought, why not? And this actually does smell, you know, um, as I was carrying these from my bathroom to the table here. You can actually get a kind of strong smell of orange of this. Yeah, from the bar, you know, it's a decent smell. As you're actually using this from the shower, it's a definite noticeable smell in there. It's very, very strong and it smells like the fragrance, but... I don't know, I kind of got out of the shower, dried off, and then 20 minutes later, sorry, when I got out of the shower, you could smell a little bit of orange, kind of that, you know, the smell of Versace Poham, and it was there. It's not there now, so I'm just doing a stupid impression. And 20 minutes later, it was gone, and, you know, I think these sell for like £10. And it's like, are you serious? I mean, you can buy the fragrance for about twenty, twenty-five pounds. So why the hell would you spend half that price on a body set, on a body wash that's not going to last? I can't imagine it's got any sort of additional cleansing properties to it, you know. Driven down upon by the gods of Versace, but um, I don't know, man. That's it, really. You know, I'm keeping this short, but yeah, what's the point of being scented? I'd rather kind of use something unscented and then, you know, put fragrance on afterwards. When I use a body moisturiser, I have this thing called E45, which is unscented, and I prefer to use that as opposed to other stuff. I had a few face wash it, washes that were scented, but, you know, maybe, you know, I can't, I can't pick up particular notes in these, but maybe they may kind of work in addition to a scent that's of that type. So I said this is kind of woody, so, you know, maybe something like a bit spicy and like something with cedar and sandalwood, you know, kind of autumn-based fragrance, that would go really well with this. But I can't see it making much of a difference, really, to be honest. 
So I mean, you know, this is a talk video, so all comments are welcome, and you know, who the purpose of this is kind of get you discussing, really. No, it's not really a subject I've seen talked about in the past. So what's your take on it, you know? Do you have some experiences? Is there anything that you do that can help these to kind of project a little bit longer or to do something? Do I use more? I'm not sure if I use enough at the moment, but who knows? So yeah, thanks for that and well done fragrant fragrant, sorry. Welcome to <laughs> to Fra uh, Fragrance Newbie for winning the competition. So all the best Craig. I really enjoy your views, so keep it up buddy and Fuck knows, maybe we'll do some more, reviews, some more giveaways in the future. So yeah, cheers guys, and thanks for all the new subscribers. And all the best, and take care. Bye.